Hey everyone, it's Paul Hamilton here for UTB. Let's take a look at what we're gonna create today. I'm gonna create this beautiful iPhone cover with depth and you can see that the image here is kind of placed in front of the time. So it's got that beautiful depth element um, and we've got a little custom or personalized message down the bottom. It's always good on a lock screen to have a, a little message to remind you to, to call your loved ones or, or do something that kind of gives you a bit of a reminder. So we're going to create this today. So why don't we get started? We'll go back to our homepage and we are going to create a custom size. Now, um, the size that I'm using is this one here. I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see. Uh, so we're looking at um, 1170 by 2532 pixels. That's basically the size of my iPhone screen. You can research yours um, and see if it actually works. Uh, make sure you get the right size to start with. So why don't we click on that? And you can see it's quite skinny, which is great. We've got lots of templates here. Basically, we're gonna keep it very basic. So the concept is we've got kind of a background image and in my case, it's gonna be kind of black. We need to have that background and the foreground picture really, really different. So we might go to our elements here and we might generate and go down to our AI image generator here to create a nice little graphic. So I'm gonna do here, um, similar to the one that I had in my example. So I'll do a boy and girl hugging. Um, we're gonna give it some emotion here um, in the middle of an apocalypse. apocalypse. Uh, that's looking good. I love it. Those that have followed my tutorials, we love <laughs> my uh, concept art style. We're going to go definitely the portrait size. Um, and we can add some emotion to that. Uh, we could say, um, uh, we could say uh, exhausted, maybe try and get some emotion, boy and girl hugging in the middle of an apocalypse. That sounds pretty dramatic, but anyway, we'll go with that. Um, and I'm going to generate that image. Now, if this one doesn't work, refine your prompt. Uh, look at different words to use to get the desired effect. Now you can use an image um, of your own family or boys and girls or something like that. We've got lots of great images kind of coming through here. You can see it's that apocalypse and the style that we've used um, is, is a really nice one. You can see the difference that we've got. We've got some skinny ones. Don't worry too much about the background. Uh, this one looks quite dramatic. Let's have a look at this one a little bit closer up. Oh, they look absolutely exhausted. They look like they're absolutely in desperate need um, of some help there. So I'm gonna go with that. We're gonna go with the dramatic one. I'm gonna remove the background. Now, as this is doing this, can I just say that we wanna keep this foreground image different to the background. So that's looking really good. That's gonna kind of generate, we're gonna make that a little bit bigger. Remembering the time that comes up He's gonna kind of pop around here, but we can kind of expand and make that a little bit bigger if we need to. So that's looking really, really good. Um, our time's gonna come up here. We can play around on our iPhone to see how big that is, um, but we'll do that in a minute. And all I'm gonna do now is I'm going to add a little message. So that's looking really good. I'm not gonna play around with the background too much. If you've got an image in the background, it might not actually put the time behind the characters, which is kind of the effect that we're doing. And then we might go just into our text. Why don't we go into our text and have a look at creating a little message. We'll look for a little style uh, that might actually suit what we're doing here. It's kind of got those brown and orange tints. So what I might do is, why don't I go with, um, I'll go with this one here to see how that looks. That looks terrible. So we'll get something else really quickly. Um, I'm gonna go down. I'm sure I've got a nice little one that I had here. Doesn't matter too much, but if you get a little bit pedantic, um, in fact, why don't I just go with the normal text? We'll go with the heading text. We'll say, um, call the ones you love. Just as a reminder, we're going to grab that nice and big. We might make that uh, nice and big. We'll go to 100. We'll jam that in to get that letter down. We'll bring that down here. Uh, we might, uh, I'm going to leave it wide at the moment. So that's a nice little one here. It's probably not looking as good as my original, uh, but that's okay. Uh, we might change from Poppins. Just change the text a little bit and give it a little bit more depth. Maybe Anton, that's looking good. We'll jam it in a little bit more. Call the ones you love. What a great little message there. And we've got this beautiful image here. 
Um, I'd make that a little bit smaller. I think it's a little bit too high, but you can play around with your different aspects. So that's basically us done. A, a nice little message with a powerful little image there, remembering to keep our foreground and our background separate. And then all we're gonna do is share that. Uh, where are we gonna go? We are gonna go to share here. We are going to go to download. And that will give me that PNG file. Now what I'm hoping I can do here is bring up my iPhone to show you how that goes over. But before I do that, I might just open that in Finder and I might just share that image. Let's share that over to Paul. There I am there. And hopefully I get a little bit of a ding on my phone. I do, which is great. Um, so I'll keep that there for now. Let's see if I can get that image up on my iPhone here. Let's see if I can bring that up on my um, Mac, sorry. I think I might be able to do that. It might be a little bit too big but it will give us what we need, I think. Uh, let's make that a little bit, let's try that again. And then hopefully we've got our phone up. So here we are here, we've got our phone here. Uh, you might not be able to see the top and bottom, but we'll see if we can, <laughs> we can do it. Um, all I'm gonna do is drag my finger down and search for uh, wallpaper here. Um, I'm gonna go over, if you've already got one, just hit on your plus to add a new one. Go to your photos. Go to all, and you can see I've been playing around with a, a number of them. I'll go with the one that I just created. And you can see here up the top, you've got that beautiful, uh, f the, the time that actually goes uh, behind the actual image itself. Now you can pinch and crop that a little bit, so you can make that a little bit bigger if you want. If you go too big, it's gonna go behind, so you just want the hair at the top. Um, I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller so I can see my message down the bottom, which is great. That's looking really good. I'm gonna to go to add, and I'm gonna set that as my wallpaper. And so now when I hit my on off and I turn my phone on, I've got that beautiful image. Let's get rid of that, that beautiful image on my phone, which is nice and powerful, but also gives a little message. So I'll stop mirroring there. So you can see here, we've got that beautiful transfer of creating our graphic. Just make sure that you've got your size right. Uh, make sure that you have a very distinct background. And don't forget, you don't have to do AI image generators. You could have an image of your family member, but if you can remember that concept of foreground and background, that's gonna hold you in really good stead going forward. That's Paul Hamilton here for using technology better.